Hey guys, Mike here. So, oh boy, what a day. Oh my lordy. And there was two things we talked about coming into the day. What were they? V-shaped recoveries and volatility. And buddy, did we get them both? Oh, in spades. And we're going we're gonna to show you. I mean, I, today was just that prime example of how to write a chapter in a textbook of how markets move. This is it. And I'm going to show it to you really quickly. It's Friday, so I'm going to keep this video as short as possible for you. But if you missed everything, let me go ahead and encapsulate this for you really quick. As I told the members in the Friday morning news brief, we were green, right? And all of a sudden, here comes this job data hit, and everybody was waiting on. And all of a sudden, the market dropped 1% on a dime because of 10 year just spiked like crazy. And the numbers came in, you know, and unemployment actually did go up at 3.8%, which, oh my goodness, that's great. But non farm payrolls came in twice as much as expected. Now, folks, we have discussed this before. For those who are new, you won't know what I'm talking about. There are two categories. You get these top three categories, right, that always lead in jobs. Most times, it's going to be leisure and hospitality, number one. Don't forget, we got seasonal jobs being offered right now. But government and education, the Fed can hike to their blue in the face, and they cannot affect this at all. They were never able to affect it. It's not how it works. All those other categories, they can do it, and you see it affecting those other categories, right? And boy, I'll tell you what, I'm going to show you a chart that stunned me this morning. When I saw this thing, I was like, there's no way that's happening. And if you fall in this category, please let us know in the comments, okay? Look at this right here. I expect you know, men and women between 25 and 54 to be joining the workforce, right? But look down here, 65 plus. Look what has happened in 2023. All of a sudden... It don't matter if it's men or women, it's spiking up. They are coming back into the workforce. This was stunning to me. Again, if you fall in this category, let me know. If you have any ideas why you think this is happening, also let us know in the comments. But also, let me show you what happened this morning in the market and why you saw this crazy V-shaped recovery. And guys, before we continue, please hit that like button. It helps people find the video. I really appreciate that. And if you like this kind of content, think about hitting that subscribe button down at the bottom. And it starts right here, 944, right after we pretty much open. I tell the members, hey, this area has been a magnet for liquidity draws for the last two weeks. Also, good support. Need to break this area if you want the market to drop any further. And as I zoom in on this, this is the US 100. So this is futures, right? But again, you can follow up with the NASDAQ 100 if you like. And you look at this right here and you can see it. Look, it comes into this area. Boom, right there. What happens? We end up moving up, right? And you can see multiple times starting back in September, it comes down this area. Immediately, we get bought up right there. Next, gets bought up right here. You go over here, it gets bought up. Again, gets in the area, gets bought up, gets bought up. And what else do you see right here? We see V-shaped recoveries. Boom. Huge moves up very quickly, right? Keep doing it. Another V-shaped recovery right here. This one right here, I didn't even highlight. V-shaped recovery, come down. Huge V-shaped recovery. Another one right here just the other day. Look at this one right here. And of course, this is at 945, right? So this is what happened. Boom. And so that shows you these liquidity grabs. It came down. It filled all these orders, moved up. What else happened? The 10-year treasury, it spiked in the morning, but what did you see? If you got trading view, you can put this in here if you can't spot it yourself. A double top. It is not about these being green. It is about the moves, the acceleration. And the acceleration up was really fast in the morning, and then the market opened up. It came up. It hit this top right, right here. Got the same equal highs we did on the 4th, and it accelerated down very quickly. It is about the acceleration of the dollar. It's about the acceleration of the yields, right? Not that they will be green by 0.03% or anything. And of course, what happened to the dollar? It spiked. Fast move up. Scares the markets to death. Algos kick in like crazy, right? What happened though? Boom. Sells off. Ends up breaking that trend line right there, which has been in place, but feels like forever, but it's actually a short amount of time. So now we got to see if it comes back up, retest, and this is an actual breakdown. Here's nugget number two or three, whatever we're on. The flows, calls start just absolutely pouring in. Puts are starting to get sold, right? Shorts are going, woo, let me get out of this, get out of the way of this train because that's what's happening here, right? And we'll get into that in a little bit more when we talk about Tesla. Now, told you yesterday, looking for W-shaped formations. 
Well, that W looked pretty good today, right? So it's pretty much complete. I said we come back up the trend line right there, that resistance line. Let's see if we can get through it or do we sell off? The other formation on the S&P was maybe we get an inverse head and shoulders, right? We had the left shoulder, we had the head. Now we moved up. Didn't expect to move up this fast in one day, but there it is. So do we come back down? I got to get rid of that gap, by the way. Fill another shoulder out before moving up or do we just keep heading through? Let me know what you think in the comments right there. The Qs, again, we're going to go over these charts in much more detail in Sunday's video. Just FYI, I'm just blowing through them for you. Let you know what happened on Friday to end the week. And we'll get more detail when we set up next week. But you can see huge candle up. What are we hitting? We're hitting major, major trend line right there, right? So we'll see if we get up to this Monday, if we can break through or not. If we pull up our moving averages, you can see we did recapture the 100 right there. The 50 also coincides with that major, would it be resistance now, trend line. So keep that in mind. Tesla, woof, this thing got hammered down. I'll show you why in just a couple minutes here. But of course, it went down with the market, but it went down with something else as well. And so again, we're still in this channel right here. This is still playing out so far. Major, major recovery. And so again, maybe we move up here. Maybe something like this will adjust as we go. Like I said, I'd like to see this channel play out for it. If we pull up the moving average, though, you can see came down. The 50 also coincides with the bottom of this channel right here. So, so a little bit of confluency, right? Got that bounce right there. That is the definition of a V-shaped recovery for sure, right? You're going to see these on a lot of charts. That's something you want to look for if you're looking for more upside, right? For a bottom, things like that. Again, how does Tesla move? The calls, right? It was number one in bullish flow. That's why you saw a huge recovery, even with the news I'm going to show you in a minute. But guess what else was huge? NVIDIA, Apple, AMD. It's about liquidity grabs, the calls, the options, right? These right here what move these markets. It makes the market makers, they're the ones selling these calls. They have to hedge by buying the stocks, okay? Now, what news did they get out for Tesla? Well, right here, you see they lowered prices again. And so, of course, usually it always goes down in this news, which it did. It actually went down a little bit more than what the, the normal market was doing at this point in time. But it recovered. It just shook it right on off. And as a side note, I did want to ask, because I don't own a Tesla, so I'm curious. Like, if you bought a Tesla, what, two years ago? Like, if you try to trade that thing in right now, like, how much down would you be? I'm just curious. I mean, I'm not sure how well they hold their value or anything, but I'm sure, sure, sure these price cuts started taking place, what, a year, year and a half ago? And so I'm just, on a side note, curious about that right there. Please put it in the comments. Now, Meta, we talked about a huge explosion either way. Which way was it going? So if it goes up, it's going to 315 quick. Where did it hit and stop? 315. How did I get that? Strictly off the volume profile. That's all I did. Look at the volume profile on the side. Tell me where the resistance is going to come in at. Where's the gap? Well, it filled that volume gap with a quickness. So I can finally take this little... Uh, symmetrical triangle, pennant, whatever you call it. I'm going to take that away right there. It wedges itself in. And when you see something wedging like this, it's going to be an explosive move, okay? And so that's what happened to Meta. Went to the upside. Again, we'll get into this more detail on Sunday about Meta and where it's going. AMD finally on this descending wedge right here, downward wedge, whatever you want to call it. Man, this thing finally broke out. They usually break out to the upside. Where is it coming into now? It's coming right into that resistance line, that rising trend line that has been there for quite a while now if we move our moving averages in here we can see we recapture the 50 the 100 right here still above that above that trend line so we'll have to see if we can break above because 110 and all of the area up there is going to be super super important if it breaks through that which we've been waiting for a while yeah this thing is going uh real high i mean real fast actually because all it really has to do is get above 110 to 112 and you're going to see this thing move with a quickness. We'll see. Again, we'll talk about the chart in more detail on Sunday. Apple, probably the stock I hate the most just because I hate how it's treated. Because it's treated differently, right? Huge green candle. Again, now it's five days green. Even when other stuff was going red, it was going green. They wouldn't let it fall off. So again, we're in this descending wedge. Maybe that's where we're heading. Heading up to the top right there, right? Got to get above the 50. That's the next one. Has a couple of gaps to fill up there. Netflix, we talked about this being the bellwether yesterday, sitting on the 200. Is this the, the stock that's going to tell us, hey, if this thing bounces after being down 25%, being beat down more than any of these big stocks over the last few weeks, that means it's going to be a turn, right? And we're finally forming that bottom. This could be it. So let's keep an eye on that and see if it's followed through. 
Palantir, just as requested. And I meant to put uh, this information here yesterday, by the way. Again, big move up. I mean, but all stocks moved up big, right? Again, looking on the weekly, it's very simple for Palantir. See, look to the left. Don't see a whole lot of resistance, right? So if it can get through around, what, 18, whatever it is. Actually, it'd be 20, actually. You know, you're going to shoot up at 25 with a quickness. If we break down below current support, we're going down to 10 is pretty quick. And what they jumped on yesterday was they getting this contract from UK and stuff. It's very controversial. Supposedly, I don't care. Money's money. So anyway, it jumped on that yesterday as well as why it performed so well and just carried through the day. Now, the stock market was so green that even Chinese stocks finally got a bid, including BABA. I'm sure BABA holders are like, thank God. And, you know, it's just a technical bounce, folks. I mean, we talked about yesterday. It's at the bottom of this downward declining wedge right here. And the other two times it hit the bottom of the wedge, what happened? It popped. So it got a nice pop today. Again, I didn't see anything coming out of China. It would make all the Chinese stocks pop, but that could have been the case. Now, coming up here, you know, Sunday, again, we'll talk about a, 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 what happens. Earnings season. That is starting next week. We got inflation data. So it's, it's going to be a boatload and, and, you know, landmine field of all kinds of stuff is going to be happening next week. And so we'll get into that on Sunday. We'll get into these charts, look at some more long-term views and everything like that uh, for sure. But today it was nice to see actually a lot of green. And, of course, when you see a day like today, Shorts are recovering, right? It's like, ooh, and I'll, I'll prove that on Sunday. I'll even show you a video of somebody who's pretty open about their shorts and stuff and how they're recovering. So uh, we'll definitely get into it and talk about that as well. But yeah, again, let me know what you think about the people who are 65 and over going back in the workforce because uh, the Mars video, I actually have a question from somebody who's getting ready to retire. Uh, again, with all your questions and, and everything, uh, I'm going to put to you uh, tomorrow. So I appreciate all you guys have been watching that one. Uh, and participating uh, really do appreciate it. actually i got a couple questions from viewers one i think i know the answer to but i don't want to put it out there uh without asking you guys so uh if you're big into treasuries especially uh you can lend your expertise on that one so you know hope everybody enjoyed the green today again we'll talk about it uh, sunday we'll get to see if it carries over into next week uh and everything so uh, let me know what you think and stuff let me know what you thought about today or we were you surprised when you got home and you went what the heck just happened right? I'm sure a lot of people were. So please hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it, guys. Hope you have a great weekend and I will see you tomorrow.